hello everyone welcome to the channel so today we will be solving a very interesting problem uh, which is a medium level problem listed on hacker rank so the problem name is sql project planning so in this question we have a table the table name is projects and it contains three columns task id start date and end date so task date is nothing but the project id column this is the start date which is actually the uh, when the project got started and the end date is nothing but the end date of the project now it is guaranteed that the difference between the end date and start date is equal to one day for each row in the table so this is something which is uh, uh, universal for each each uh, column each row here so if the start date is 1st october the end date is 2nd october the start date is uh, 2nd October, the end date is 3rd. Similarly, for uh, each and every row, 3rd, 4th, 13th, 14th, 14th, 15th, 28th, 29th. So, it is already given to us. Now, we are also given that if the end date of the task are consecutive, then they are part of the same project. This is something which is very important sentence of this complete question. So, if the end date of the task are consecutive, then they are part of the same project. Let's understand this with the table. So, the 2nd October is the end date here. We can see for the task ID 2, 3rd October is the end date. And for the task ID 3, 4th October is the end date. So, if the end dates are consecutive, that means 2nd, 3rd and 4th. So, these are the consecutive. That means these are part of the same project. That means a project got started on 1st of October and it got ended on 4th of October. Similarly, we can see here 14th and 15th. These are consecutive dates. That means if they belong to the same project. That means if a second project got started on 13th of October, it continued to uh, 14 and ended on 15th of October. And similarly, for 6 and 9, we don't see any kind of uh, consecutive end dates here since 29 and then 31. So, that is uh, a se complete separate project got started on 28th of October and got ended on 29th of October. And similarly, a uh, uh, complete new project got started on 30th of October and got ended on 31st of October. So, this is very clear that if the end date of the task are consecutive, then they are part of the same, same project. Now, what do we want to find it? We want to query the output, the start and end dates of the projects listed by the number of dates it took to complete the project in ascending order. Here, we want to find uh, the initial, initial uh, start date of each project and the final ending date of each project. So this is what uh, this is what we actually want in our output. If there if there is more than one project that have the same number of completion than completion days, then order by the start date of the project. So this is something uh, which we will be using it afterwards in the order by clause. So let's understand uh, the question more with the help of sample input and sample output table. Since we already uh, had a discussion with the sample input table we can clearly say that the start date of uh, one project is one got ended on four then the next project got started on 13 got ended on 15 next project got started on 28 october got ended on 29th of october and another project got started on 30th of october and got ended on 31st of october so, if we want to query the initial start dates of the project, that, that will be 1. 2 and 3 will not come in our output because uh, it's the ongoing uh, project uh, which, uh, which got ended on 4th of October. So, we only want the start dates. That means our start date will be 1, 13, 28 and 30. So, this will be uh, this, these will be the dates that will come in our start date column. Next, if we want to find the end dates of the project, those will be 4, then 15, 29 and 31. So, let's see the sample output here. We can see 1, 13, 28 
in 30 which are uh, which is nothing but our start dates and if we see uh, this this project got started on first got this these are the end dates so uh, it got ended on 4 if a project got started on 13 it got ended on 15 if a project got started on 28 it got ended on 29 similarly if it got started on 30 it got ended on 31st so i hope uh, the question is very clear so now to solve this question we will uh, make use of common table expressions so now what the common table expressions are common table expression cte's are nothing but a temporary table that we will create so we will create two temporary tables here that means we will be writing two cte's here so the first uh, cte we will write to find the starting dates of each project and the second cte that we will write to find the ending dates of each project now you can pause the video and think uh, and you can just spend time thinking through that how we will find the start dates of the project and the end dates of the projects. By the next second, I'll be uh, discussing the solution. So guys, to find the start dates of the project, we will just filter the start dates that do not appear in the end dates of the table. If we, if we can see clearly here, the start dates that do not appear in the end dates are 1. It do not appear in the end date. Then 2 appears in the end date. 3 appears in the end date. 4. Uh, and then here 13. 13 is again the, our start date. That do not really appear in the end date. Because 14 appears here. Then 28 which do not appear in our end date. And 30 which do not appear in our end date. So this is how we can uh, easily write our CTE. Using a where condition that. If our start date is not present in the end date column, that means those are our starting dates of the project. Similarly, to find the end dates of the projects, we will write another CTE and there also we will just filter the end dates that are not appear in the start dates. That means uh, our start dates were 4, 15, 29 and 31. So we can see that 4 does not appear in our start date. We can see that 2 appears, 3 appears, but 4 does, do not appear. Similarly, 15 do not appear, 14 actually appears, and 29 and 31 also do not appear. So, this is how we will write our CTE. And once we will find the start dates and the end dates, we will just join uh, both the CTEs using uh, Cartesian join. Uh, the, uh, and then we can, you know, uh, just find the start dates and end dates. So let's start uh, writing our query now. So here we will write our first CTE. That is, guys, make sure that you write your query in MS uh, SQL C, uh, server in order to avoid any kind of errors. Or so we will write CTE one. So, this CTE we are writing it for finding the start dates. Okay. So, here in the CTE, I'll just select. I just want the start date. And my table name is projects my projects since i had a condition that my start date should not be present in the end date so i'll just write it like that star date not in and select end date from projects okay so this is how i have written my cte1 also guys make sure that you uh, write another another column to find the row number to each start date based on their order why because it will help us to pair the start date and end date at the end so let's just write the row number or you can also use row or rank function here 
I'm just giving the row number. Row number over. Uh, I'll just use order by order by start date. Uh, it will automatically order by ascending order. And I'll just give as a start date rank. Start date rank. So I've just uh, assigned this assigned this row number because uh, the same no row number we will assign for the another CTE also. And we, to just match the to just match the start date and end date and the at the end we'll make use of this. Okay. So this is my first CTE. I'll put the co uh, comma and then I will write my second CTE. So CTE2 as select. Here I want to find the end date and Again, we will just assign a row number, row number function, which is nothing but a window function. Row number will just give give me uh, the number or kind of a rank over the same we did as order by. Since we want end date here. So it will be on end date as and I'll just give it end date rank the same way I did for start date rank. Okay. Now I I have to apply the condition that I just want to filter only the end dates that are not. Uh, present or that they do not appear as the start date in the project table. So here my end date end date not in start date. Select start date from projects. Cool. So this is my second uh, CTE. Now what will I do is now what this CTE will give me. This CTE will just I have to put comma here. Now this CTE will give me the start dates uh, which are nothing but 1, 13, 28 and 30 uh, and it will just give me the row number that is 1 two three four this is how my output of this CTE will come similarly for the output of the second CTE it will be four then uh, 15 29 and 31 and the row number one two three four okay so now I just have to uh, join both the CTEs Now we will simply join both the CTEs without any explicit join condition. So that will result in the Cartesian product. So let's do that. Select from CTE1, comma, CTE2. And here we will uh, apply one condition that our start uh, date rank should be equal to end date rank that we calculated here. This rank should be same because it will ensure that the start dates and end dates have the same rank. Uh, why? Because it will match us the correct, uh, correct start date and the correct end date of each project. Okay. So, where start date rank is equal to end date rank cool and what what uh, what exactly we want to 
query we just want to extract the start date so we'll just write the start date which we calculated from cte1 and the end date which will be end date which we calculated from cte2 also we wanted to do some order by operation here so if uh, there is more more than one project that have the same number of completion days then order by the start date of the project so we have to order by uh, order by using uh, the completion uh, the days it took to complete the project so to do that we will be using date diff function here now what date diff function will do is date diff function will just calculate uh, the difference uh, between the end date and the final date here so i'll just find the number of days it took to complete the project it will be day comma start date comma end date so it will give me the date that is uh, the number of days number of completion days of each project and if in case uh, if there is more than one project that have the same number of completion that uh, com completion days then we have to order by the start date comma the last i'll just do the order by with the start date so this is how my query here is so this query will give me uh, the start date along with the row number this query will give me or uh, the cte actually the cte will give me the end date or uh, final end dates of the project and then we just uh, join both the cts to find the uh, star date and where we just make use of this where condition where we calculated uh, the row number uh, or the rank you can also use rank function here instead of row number function okay guys that is here a small mistake we did we forgot to write from projects projects where end date not in select start start date from project school just rechecking the query so okay and then last we just uh, did from ct1 ct2 okay so guys we can simply run our query now so yes we have got what we actually looking what we were actually looking for so one question guys that that is important uh, here that you might you might wonder why why he went why we haven't used partition by clause uh, this is because we haven't used partition by because we are dealing with uh, simple ranking of dates here uh, we uh, we are not dealing with the specific kind of subsets or partitions that we need to do on any kind of column so that's why we uh, the partition by clause was not really required and i have not used that so guys i hope this solution is uh, helpful to you thank you